Hi, my name is Mr. Farrell and I'm here to tell you about an exciting new course the Social Sciences faculty is leading on for September. The BTEC Tech Award in Health and Social Care is the ideal course if you want a career in nursing, midwifery, teaching, social care or the wider care sector. Health and social care is about working with people and making a real difference with the knowledge you learn. The BTEC Level 2 Award in Health and Social Care will give you the opportunity to learn about both healthcare and social care jobs. It will allow you to develop the skills and knowledge to understand how you make a difference to people in all health and social care settings. It's ideal for those wishing to enter a profession that cares for vulnerable people the BTEC Level 2 Tech Award is equivalent to a GCSE over a two-year qualification. You will have the opportunity to learn about both healthcare and social care services, the behaviours professional use and the careers available. The BTEC Level 2 is going to expect you to understand the many changes that happen during your lifetime, such as physical growth, puberty, learning about people of all ages. There are three units that you will be covering, two coursework units in year 10 and one exam in year 11. Component 1 looks at the human lifespan development and you'll be assessed between September and January. Component 2 looks at service and values in the health and social care sector. Component 3 you will do in year 11 and that focuses on health and well-being. The two internally assessed units, Component 1 and Component 2, make up 30% each of your final grade, with Component 3 making up the final 40%. So let's have a greater look at each component. Component 1 focuses on human lifespan development. How do people grow and develop throughout their lives? How can factors such as lifestyle choices, relationships and lifestyle events affect your growth and development? different life events and how people cope. This unit will help you to understand people's differences and those individuals who are vulnerable. Component 2 looks at health and social services and care values. Health and social care values underpin good practice at work. This unit is all about working in both health and social care settings and you'll have plenty of exposure to guest speakers and workplace visits. You will learn about the range of services and professions as well as how the care values and care staff behaviours impact on service users in health and social care settings. Component 3 is all about health and well-being. You'll be assessed by a two-hour exam. This final unit builds on knowledge learned in Components 1 and 2 and has enables you to bring these together and relate to a real-life situation. You will need to assess an individual's health and well-being and use this to analyse how choices and situations affect good health. So what happens after you've completed the BTEC? Well, thankfully here at Rainhill Sixth Form, we have a BTEC Level 3 that you could come on to study. You could also do an apprenticeship. This may be a health and social care or totally a different subject. But by studying the health and social care in year 10 and year 11, you'll be equipped with some sound foundations for your future career. You could also choose to enrol on a T-level, a science health-based course, or you could become a cadet nurse. Some of our level 3 students go on to jobs such as nursing, social work, teaching, public health, therapists, residential care work, Allied health professionals within the NHS, such as dietitians, speech and language therapists, paramedics, art therapists, occupational therapists, the opportunities to expand your horizons are endless. And if you think this is the course for you, then why don't you contact myself, Mr. Farrell, head of faculty, Miss Brenton, the health and social care teacher, or any of the staff here in social sciences. Thank you.